Well, hey everyone. Well, this is a big one here, okay? Wow. Things have begun. To the Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto you, O Lord. Holy Spirit, I pray that you go before me. You give me the words to say. I pray that ears would hear what the Spirit is saying. O Lord, and that eyes would see just what time it is. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen. Okay, here, looking at Christmas past. <laughs> oh, well, okay. I feel like Ebenezer Scrooge right now, but not. Jesus is coming, y'all. All right, there's a video going on out there. And it's like, it's so ironically coincidental on certain things. Yet, we'll get into this in a minute here. Um, because the UN General Assembly has met. And don't forget COP28 also ended today. Things are about to change. For the good, for those of us who are in Christ Jesus. And we still got time to plant some seeds, so let's get out there and get them planted, all right? Okay, and everybody remembers my magical carousel here. <laughs> wow. Still digging things out of the garage to put up. It's truly amazing. All right. Whew. All right. Been a rough couple hours. I had to listen to the whole three hours, which I will leave in the show me more section for you because it is very relevant to what's going on right now. The ending vote was 153 to 10. All right. <laughs> 10 is complete. 153. Nets full. All right. Well, this is how we crazy Christians think, right? Well, let's break it down a little bit because, you know, most of what I heard listening with spiritual ears is exactly what Psalms 83 is saying, Aesop saw, Zechariah 12, you name it. Israel will be surrounded right now as everyone is coming against her and they're calling for a two-state solution. They want all of this to stop. The point that I need to bring out is that the apple of God's eye is the one that's being blamed for everything. All right, so no, <laughs> this is biblical. It is written. And also, the 10 countries that are standing with Israel are also in the word. And I'll have to break that down tomorrow. <laughs> or maybe the next day, whenever, hopefully. And or I'll see you in the clouds. I'll leave the long version and then the short version in the comment section. All right, so what they're calling for is a two-state solution. They want all of this killing to stop, blaming Israel for everything, including humanitarian, you know, support as far as hospitals, um, getting aid to the people, killing the innocents. But Israel's one that's going through, oh my goodness, um, a whole lot, right? There has been absolute massacres in Israel. This is what started it all on 10-7. So, wow, just that alone right there should tell us where we are as far as biblical prophecy is concerned. And then, David Wilkerson had absolutely a prophetic warning about what was coming as far as the digital, one world, everything. Of course, he didn't give a date. 
Um, but that was supposed to start today. But God, all right? He had his hand on all of this because who changes laws and times and, you know, what their law is and what they're screaming about is not backed by God. It is, they're going totally against Scripture, yet they're fulfilling Scripture because God's allowing it to happen. Benjamin Netanyahu said today that he is not stopping. He will defend his people no matter what. In fact, he's even gotten to the point of saying that as far as exchange of hostages is concerned, there will be no more because it's like a money exchange. I think I've spoken that before as well. You know, I'll give you ten, you give me five, you know, vice versa. And, and who they're releasing and how they're releasing it. And of course, Israel has been holding off. She has protected. She has, um, even the, the ones that are against her, uh, she's made a way. She's giving them time to get out. She's given them warnings to get out as well. Yet they didn't listen. And we know that Israel isn't listening to daddy right now, but she will, because what's about to happen is, well, once we're taken out of the way, the Holy Spirit, the restrainer, all heck is going to break loose. This is going to be the time of Jacob's trouble, Israel's trouble, not our trouble, not anybody else's trouble, other than those who've been, who have been rebellious and have the spirit of Antichrist against God, not listening to the Holy Spirit um, and whoever is left behind. So please make today the day of salvation if you're not saved yet. Also, I plead, I plead with you. This is it. Time is short. So short. My goodness, can you feel it? Now, we've been saying this for a while, but as far as what I'm seeing right now, sparked by a video that was absolutely, well, I'll say no more about that, except for it left no description and it left no video. I had to go track it down, find it myself, pray. It took a while. Um, that's why so late, all right? It has nothing to do with who's first. We're Team Jesus. We're all in this together. All right, so breaking it down, they want all the hostages released. In fact, they're demanding that they be released. All right, like they've been listening so far, right? Um, they're asking for Israel to stop. Israel seems to be the bad guy right now. Uh, we know that she's not. Um, and they're trying to tell her that they're not getting her support anymore. They've been saying this all along. But as of now, taking that vote, the hammer was slammed. <laughs> And it was a final, 153 to 10. And I think there were also a few that didn't vote as well. Well, it took eight minutes for that other video. So I thought that um, I'll try to keep this as short as possible. And any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Please leave your comments below encourage one another with these words as in first thessalonians 4 16 through 18 we're going to be meeting him in the clouds really really soon at the last trump first corinthians 15 53 53 right the dead in christ will rise first then those of us who are left and remain will be caught up to meet them 
that last trump is going to sound, the trump of God calling us all up hither in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Twinkle pooth. My favorite saying. Wow. Maddie's so cute in this picture, isn't she? A little younger than. And we've all aged. We've all grown airy. He's written that this would happen. But we are alive for a time. Just like this. Maranatha, everyone. Mary Christmas. <laughs> M A R R Y. Christ Muth. All right. Wow. Who would have thought? Hanukkah, tabernacles overlapping, the new moon being spotted, the shofar was blown, the fourth day of Hanukkah, the middle candle being the servant candle. Are we all, all servants? Oh my goodness, I could go on for a long time right now. But God said, it is finished. It was finished on the cross. He's the judge. He's the king. He's the ruler over everything. Right? He's looking for faith when he, when he returns. For we are all saved by grace through faith, a free gift, not of ourselves, at least any man both. I find so many coincidences right now. This is the time that we, Hanukkah, even gives gifts every night. And then our gifts, you know, as we celebrate, that we share with one another. This is truly amazing. I don't expect that war in Israel to stop anytime soon. But I do expect us, to, the bride of Christ, to be taken out of the way. In Jesus' name, this is Debbie from Texas saying, Peace out, Maranatha. Just keep looking up. Please like, share, and subscribe. And tell everyone you know. Go tell it on a mountain. Shout it from the rooftop. Jesus Christ is Lord, and he's coming really soon. Peace out.